Okay, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about some examples of hash set class in Java. So first of all, let's start by creating a hash set of strings. So let's say we're going to call it names. New has set string. And now if I want to print the number of elements, names dot size. Okay. So as you can see, the number of elements is zero. So now let me add. So names dot add say new string Ahmed and let me I keep printing the number of elements and the the asset itself after each addition. So we have number of elements is one and it's Ahmed and of course it's the first element in the asset. So let me add a new one. Let's say Khalid. And it's going to be Ahmed and Khalid. Of course, Khalid is added at person number two for some reasons that will become clear in a few minutes. So Fahad. Then. So. Ahmed, Khaled, and Fahad. Let me add another fourth one. Ali. Now Ali is becoming the last one. Now let me add Badr. Now Badr has come second position. As you can see, it's not a matter of Alphabetical order is not a matter of number of characters, so the add method of the hash set is adding based on specific criteria which is called the hash code. Okay, so let me add now a repeated one. For example, let me add Ahmed again, and as we'll see, it will not add Ahmed. Why? Because hash set does not accept repeated, it's a set, so it does not accept repeated element. It's unsorted, unordered set, and it doesn't accept repeated elements. So if you want to make sure that this is what happened, so add will return a boolean, so flag, the add flag. So it will tell me what happened. So I will say if this is false, if add flag is false, that means I was not able to add. Okay, sorry, false. System.out println last addition not allowed it's already there it's already there okay so of course in this case to make sure that this would get printed so as you can see the f is false because it was not able to add because it's repeated elements so it's still number five five elements okay so this add is quite peculiar when it's adding because it will add based on the hash code of the object being added. So because it's a string, so we can have a hash code for each. If you want to know the hash code of all those things that we have added. So just to print ln hash code of, for example, let's say Ahmed is equal to Ahmed dot hash code. If you want to know the hash code of Ali, so let's see the order. So Ahmed and then Badr. Then we have Khaled. Fahad and Ali. Fahad and Ali. OK, 
Okay, so let's see the hash codes. So the hash code of Ahmed is this number. 63,235,109. The hash code of Badr is 2,062,000. Hash code of Khaled is some negative number and so on. So as you can see, it's not a matter of increasing or decreasing. There is kind of very special way where uh, the add will select uh, a range of uh, the range of adding so it will get the index from the hash code and then it will or other word in other words it will map the hash code of the object being added to a number and that number will represent a position okay so it's quite complex and just make sure that uh, to keep in mind that it will be uh, a set of non-repeated and ordered elements thank you very much